squares A, B, C and D are placed as mentioned in the figure. Two small squares B and C have side length 1. So here the lengths are 1 unit each. That means this square A has the side length of 2 units each. Now we have to find the area of this particular blue triangle. So to understand that what kind of figure are we getting, I am also drawing another figure. If I draw a line like this and make a triangle such as this. Now we need to understand here that this blue triangle will have exactly the same area as the triangle that we can see here. Alright. So we have the triangle here and the area of this triangle we can find out whereas we should know that the blue triangle will have exactly the same area as this because if I keep making this square smaller or bigger there will be a case that this square vertex will actually merge with this one. Right? So these two will have exactly the same cases and since we know that this length will be square root of 2 and this particular length will be 2 root 2, the area of this figure will be equal to half of 2 root 2 times root 2 and the root 2 can cancel this out so the area will be 2 units and therefore the answer to the question is option A. So here the basic challenge in the question was to actually turn the figure into something that we can identify. I have taken this particular line as base and this particular line as height. The reason is that this is the diagonal of this small square C making an angle of 45 degrees and this particular blue line is actually the diagonal of the square A and making another 45 degrees. So the total angle between these two lines will be 90 degrees and therefore I have taken the base as root 2 and the height as 2 root 2. 2 root 2 is calculated using the Pythagoras theorem or the 45-45-90 property. I hope that explains and you enjoyed the explanation. Thank you so much.